Michael DeSanta? More like Michael, the guy with a lot of facts and glitches, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm right. <laughs> I'm booming this video. This video is Michael's facts and glitches. You <laughs> see what I did there? Okay. Strange things happen when you back a truck into Michael's garage, leave the area, and then come back. During the mission complications, Simi will refuse to fight Michael if he goes outside and instead will simply taunt him, telling him to come back. Running away from the fight. I thought we were having a conversation. Are you not man enough to finish this? Where are you going, coward? It turns out, however, that the game considers you to be inside if you are right behind the back door. This results in a confusing scene where Simeon will rush to Michael eager to fight, only to run away again if Michael moves too far away from the door as he seeks to return to the showroom floor. Where are you going, coward? It is also the case that if Michael is not somewhere that the game considers to be inside, he cannot do any damage to Simeon. In other words, if there is a yellow dot on the map directing Michael back inside, Simeon cannot be hers. <laughs> You recognize this car? Uh, huh? The Mission 3's company has a very cool glitch that I'm surprised I didn't know of before. When you regain control of Michael who is rappelled down the side of the building, if you rapidly tap your weapon as opposed to holding it, you'll be given momentum. This can enable you to literally float through the building. We need to be clear of this building! Hey! Stooley! I'm not leaving here until you shoot those guys! So get moving on it! There does not seem to be any limit as to how far you can go. While your rope physically appears tethered to the helicopter above, it doesn't actually do anything and so will stretch as far as you go. Even better, you don't need to go into the building, you can float away from it. I flew as far as Franklin who was sniping to give Michael cover. During prologue, if you don't switch to Trevor and allow the struggle with the guard to run its natural course, it ends in a pretty funny way. On prologue, you are unable to shoot your allies, except through a small hole for some reason. Let's do this! Weirdly enough, when switching between barefoot and slippers with Michael, you can visibly see that the game increases his leg length instead of making him shorter. In the second phase of the Bureau Raid mission, if you look over at Michael while controlling Franklin, he'll be bugging out for some reason. It's a shame that I can only record this in 60 FPS, because when I'm looking at it when I'm playing the game, he flickers a lot faster than this. Guys, you there? Yeah, go ahead. Be extremely careful. Alright, got it. It is possible to be driven around by Michael's family should you see them about to get into a vehicle. Ask. It is possible to get your game into a glitch state. Right after the mission complications, if you switch to Franklin, drive near Michael with his ability, and then switch back to Michael, the game will be stuck in slow motion. Playing with this effect makes it obvious, but I will show a comparison to normal gameplay for your benefits. This effect even persists through getting arrested or wasted, but attempting to use an ammunition removes the effect. <laughs> Michael's garage begins to close when he ragdolls. <laughs> Ooh. 
Michael's gait, for whatever reason, stops moving if you accept a taxi job. Hey, dispatch, you got any work for me? Perfect timing. I got a customer for you right now. Uh, cancel that. Something came up. The gate at Michael's house opens when you get the cops on you. It can then sense when you lose the cops and will thus close. Looking up at the roof above the stairs in Michael's house shows that he is meant to have a skylight. On top of his house, however, there is no space for this skylight. In this corner in Michael's garage, you'll be able to find the scuba gear that Michael uses during the mission Monkey Business after it is complete. After you complete the mission Bury the Hatchet, you can find the tickets that Michael used to fly to North Yankton on his table, and they remain there for the rest of the time you play the game. Sometimes when you switch to Michael, you will find him in his living room with his family. Oddly, if you sit down and watch TV, they will disappear. This is in direct contrast to sleeping, for example, where if Amanda's in the bed, she will stay there even after you wake up. With drivers like you around, it sucks to be a cyclist. On the mission Did Somebody Say Yoga, there is a cutscene with Michael involving aliens, which concludes with him flying over Los Santos. If during this sequence you fly and land in Michael's pool, Michael will wake up with his shorts being wet. This is strange considering that no other body of water achieves this effect, just the pool at his house. Jimmy, you little shit. Jimmy, you little shit. On the mission derailed, Michael is immune to fire when he's looking for valuables in the train wreckage. Merryweather fleet here, bro! Speed it up! We can't hang around it! I'm out here doing the hard work! On the mission Legal Trouble, if Michael uses his special ability immediately after chasing Molly, it will screw up her pathing. Molly! Molly! Stop him! Stop him! He's a killer! This worker will not begin to move until Molly gets here, so if you move past her, he'll be simply frozen. Given enough time, Molly will eventually teleport back to her normal path. Save me from this murderer! Move! A madman's hey, coming! Hey, hey, oh, here. stop! Look out! Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, that was nasty and needless. Rather than waiting for her to teleport, it is possible to push her back onto her path. I think you need some help right now! He kills people! Help! Stop him! Stop him! He's a killer! Despite Michael and Trevor not having any side missions with Tanya, it is still possible to go meet her with either character and hear some unique dialogue. Hey, Cracker! Why don't you come over here and give a girl some fun? Come on, seriously? Let me ask you a question. You get a lot of bitterness using those lines? I do I. Ooh, all right then, I'm sure you do. What you scared of? Shit. Me? Shit, I'm scared of a whole lot of things. Hey, you take care now. Wait, I, I show you a good time? I like a big boy. One error does exist in her responses. If you bump into her enough, she will call Michael or Trevor Franklin. Why are you bugging, Franklin? When you switch to Michael, he can be walking past some women on the street. For some reason, they'll be quite resistant to being punched over. Sorry. While under normal circumstances, it is not possible to use Michael's special ability when you're in a car. If when loading into the game or switching characters, you press the special ability button at the right time, you'll be able to use it anyway.
both Trevor and Michael's special abilities can't normally be used in vehicles. The exception to this is if you warp into a vehicle when both of the doors are blocked. Where are you assholes hiding? The ability will turn off automatically if you try to leave the vehicle. At the end of Did Somebody Say Yoga, most people when they reach Michael's house would simply go to the yellow dot. However, if you walk around the house, Michael will call for his family asking where they are. Of course, they recently abandoned him. Hey! I'm home! Anyone here? Kids? Tracy? Trace? Oh! Jimmy? Honey? I'm back! Hello! Well, we've decided to move out for a while. Fuck! The truck Michael uses to chase after the tennis pro in the Mission Marriage Counseling is from McGill Olsen Construction. Michael claims it just belongs to someone who is working on his house, but it is possible that this person was working for the FIB to keep an eye on Michael. At the end of the Mission 3's company, a McGill Olsen construction vehicle is used to take Mr. K. There are also more vehicles from other maintenance companies in the lot that are also being used by the FIB. This could of course just be coincidence. The guy working for Michael could have just been an ordinary construction worker, but we do know that McGill Olsen and other maintenance vehicles are used by the FIB. On Prologue, if you are in first person with Michael when you attempt to blow up the explosives, his phone will appear to be a silver color. In third person, however, the phone that appears on the screen will be black, even if the phone in his hand will still look like it's silver. Perhaps it's a trick of the light, but I could not find any reflection where it would change. We gotta do this? During Michael's grassroots mission, Michael has to fight off some aliens that are probably hallucinations. If he takes too much damage, he gets vaporized, but if he attempts to leave the area, there is a somewhat humorous fail notification. At the end of the mission card Libre, Trevor drives away with Michael and Patricia to go into hiding and you are forced to switch to Franklin. However, if you use Franklin to return to your previous location, Trevor and Patricia will be gone and Michael will be driving around by himself. Hey man, weird seeing you here. Can we go get a drink or something? I can't right now, dude. See you soon then, man. It is possible to access Los Santos with Michael before the mission prologue begins. First, while on any save file, load a new game. The timing is tricky for the next part, but a few seconds before you load in, you need to select your online character. I waited until the loading circle had spun 11 times and then began to hold and release F8 in a rhythm. Attempting to do this too early or too late seemed to prevent the glitch. My loading times, of course, will differ from your own, and what key you need to press depends on your version of the game. When you are asked if you want to go online, of course you select no. This will reveal Michael in Los Santos. The map will be almost completely covered, and if you save your game, you will have a 0% in the beginning save file. And you can even create an autosave with the same name by going into director mode. Unfortunately, after 5 seconds, prologue starts as normal, even if you load these save files. To be honest, your ease of getting this glitch and how long you will spend in Los Santos will depend on how powerful your system is. My system is very fast, so it makes it very difficult to achieve this glitch. If you have seen any speedruns of GTA 5, you'd know that running in any direction during the final prologue shootout will cause the shootout to end and the cutscene to play. One possible reason Rockstar did this is if you actually die during the shootout, Michael will stand up, which kind of gives away that he's still alive. I'm standing! Another possible reason is to prevent you from getting too close to Michael and Brad. Mods can reveal that both have their eyes open and are clearly alive. I suspect this was probably done to prevent you from being able to shoot them, which is something that can't be done for corpses. I can die, all of you! 
On the mission card Libre, you are tasked with shooting down a plane for Martin Madrazo. While the game leads you to believe that you are firing this big gun from the van, taking notice of the white bricks at the bottom of your screen shows that this cannot be so. Using mods, you can find that Michael is actually on the observatory, far distant from the actual placement of the gun while he fires. Gotta shoot. He of course would teleport back into the van after he has finished shooting down the plane. If you have a wanted level, you can call Dr. Freelander and complete a phone therapy session in order to remove it. Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good doc, not good at all. Let's speak again soon. Hey bro. In a previous episode, I mentioned how passengers look angry whenever you go over 72 kilometers per hour. It turns out that the character you control does this as well, but normally you wouldn't notice. There is one room in Michael's house that cannot be opened, but on very rare occasions, you can hear Jimmy showering in there, which suggests that it is a bathroom. Hey! I used all the shower gel on my balls! They call me Jake Dog. I got the whole hog. I drink eggnog. Yeah, yeah. I'm fat with an F. I'm fat with a P. I'm fat, motherfucker, so don't fuck with me. Lock up your daughter, cause I play righteous slaughter. Yeah, yo, I snort her. I got the high KD. I'm high on THC. Fuck the LSPD. As no other shower exists in the house, this being this room's purpose could have been inferred from that alone. I don't got a car and I live with my mom, but my flow is sick and my rhymes is the bomb. You shower to get clean and I shower to get dirty. Get up on my shit, I'm Mr. Headshot, I'm Mr. Smoke Pot, I'm Mr. Eat a Lot, uh huh. How am I supposed to jack off in the shower when we keep running out of hot water? Hey, you need a bigger water heater, old man. Looking with mods, we can see that Rockstar didn't bother modeling the room's interior as we were never meant to see it anyway. Can someone bring me some toilet paper? I got a mess to clean up in here. Michael's side mission, assuming the truth, has a quirk where the mission doesn't end so long as you keep looking in the direction of Marnie. Hello, Michael. Or should I say Zolag? What? The spirits shall email you their requirements. The spirits have email. Kiflom. Kiflom. You can see on the map that no other points of interest are spawned in, and the text message that Marnie is meant to send doesn't arrive. This is until you rotate your camera away from looking in her general direction. There is an in-game site called Psychic Shoutout where each of the characters have one unique conversation that reveals some facts about themselves. For Michael, what can I help you with today? I'm a fantastic relationship psychic. My relationship is just fine. I see a big house and a garden. The spirits are telling me to go into the bedroom. The spirits normally tell me to pass out on the sofa. The bedroom is very crowded. The decorator told me it was maximal minimalism. I see a yoga mat and a tennis racket. We're a sporty family. They don't belong to you. Question mark. There's a fireman's hat and a plumber's wrench. Give it a rest, okay? A lifeguard's float, a trucker's 60 ounce flask, a trash collector's pair of gloves. What are you saying? A gardener's trowel, a hipster's mustache. What the hell are you implying here? I'm not implying anything. The spirits on the other hand imply a loss. The spirits are telling me you're an asshole, all right? Now fuck off. You came to us, Michael. We're not going to tell you what you want to hear. I thought you'd tell me something I didn't already know you asked. Goodbye. We had an open relationship, by the way. She's her own woman. I'm happy for her. And I cheated too, unless you can't tell. This either refers to the many porno shoots that occurred at Michael's house, as was referenced on the mission Daddy's Little Girl, or Amanda slept with a lot of people. On the mission friend request, Michael has to change his outfit. It seems as though Rockstar never expected you to make multiple choices. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Tragic, but they'll do. Tragic, but they'll do. 
Tragic, but they'll do. Tragic, but they'll do. Tragic, but they'll do. After the mission card Libre, Trevor and Michael are meant to lie low because they've stolen Martin Madrazo's wife. They are not meant to go into the city, but despite this, Franklin can set up a hangout with Michael. You wanna hang out or something? Yeah, great. Good, I'll see you soon, man. Good to see you, man. It's good hanging out with you, man. Is it? Well, I hope so. Yeah, me too. What should happen in this scenario can be seen when you can bring Michael back to the city. Martin Madrazo will call Michael and then send his goons to kill him. My spotter saw you coming into the city, Michael. You will be dead soon. The city? But no, 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 you got the wrong guy, Mr. Madrazo. I'm out in the country. Long holiday. On the mission Daddy's Little Girl, for some reason, Michael is entirely immune to explosions while on a bike. Additionally, once Jimmy leaves the area, it is possible to kill the bike rental guy and to see that the other bikes are also immune to explosions. Jimmy is also immune to explosions while on his bike, but you will still mission fail because he gets spooked. On the mission Meltdown, where Michael protects his family from the Meriwether sent by Devon Weston, a strange glitch can occur after you mission fail. If you shoot this corner, occasionally members of your family will appear suddenly out of thin air. It is odd that you can shoot them at all, but they were never meant to be accessible, as they should be in Tracy's room, which is locked. What is happening is the characters respawn somewhat in the wall and your bullets are causing them to clip through. Before you mission fail, they spawn in the middle of the room so this can't occur. The gate at Michael's home is exceptionally powerful to the extent that it can phase through matter. When Michael gets drugged by Jimmy on the mission Did Somebody Say Yoga, the game will only activate the cutscene where Michael is thrown out of the car if the car is on the road. However, there are some parts of the game where there is a street with a main road underneath it in a tunnel, which the game considers sufficient to meet this requirements. Apparently these drugs are so potent that it will warp Michael literally through the floor. On the side of Michael's house, there is an outline of a doorway that likely existed as part of an earlier design for his house. The best way to reveal it is to use explosives. I'm out. At rare times, it is possible to find Jimmy standing near the area of this fake door, suggesting that maybe he was originally intended to be coming out of it. If you Trevor or Franklin are driving when I'm on a bike, I'm screwed! In Michael's house, there is a blue yoga ball that you can push around. During Michael's Epsilon side missions, he is tasked with running five miles in the desert. You must wear your medal and your attire and run five miles through the desert. Driving in a car obviously doesn't count, so running 8 kilometers normally takes half an hour and is very boring. Speedrunners, however, found a creative way to make this 6 times faster. By performing a ladder launch to get into the air quickly, they can then pull their parachute and repeatedly shoot that parachute to both gain height and change the direction of their flights. This enables them to perpetually stay in the air, and air travel surprisingly counts as running for the purpose of this side mission. While I'm sure you'd like to try this yourself, unfortunately, speedrunners use an earlier patch, and this form of infinite flight with parachutes was long ago patched out of the game. When you are knocked out and wake up on the autopsy table during Dead Man Walking, moving around actually enables you to wake up earlier. Probably about to find one in his gut, still in his wrapper. 
Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Ah! If you have a large hairstyle, put on the stealth outfit and dye it twice, it breaks your hair. On the mission Father Son, Michael pulls up behind his boat so that Franklin can jump onto it. Surprisingly though, Franklin doesn't care about the height of Michael's car relative to himself, he will jump so long as Michael is directly behind the boat. Time to get the boat back. A similar effect can be seen if you're driving above the boat. Of course, you can't do this during vanilla gameplay. You have to mod in a platform. Hey, closer, man, closer. Fuck. Hey, closer, man, closer. Fuck. A glitch on the mission Bury the Hatchet causes Michael to permanently lose all his weapons. Michael has all his weapons removed when he takes a plane ride. Normally, when you finish the mission or fail and leave, you are given all your weapons back. However, if you drive to the cemetery, mission fail without dying, and leave the mission, the game will not return your weapons to you. You may never have noticed, but each character's special ability only regenerates to 50% if all you do is wait patiently. Traditionally, you need to do things related to the special ability to have it regenerate further. It is therefore a surprise that doing yoga with Michael will fully regenerate his special ability. This is a feature that I guarantee few know about and even fewer have ever taken advantage of. To be clear, it isn't just a matter of waiting in yoga, you have to complete the required minigame to get the buff. If you watch really closely, you can see at the end here as it fully regenerates. On the mission Did Somebody Say Yoga, your phone is rendered invisible when you go near Jimmy's room. Sorry, all the drivers are busy right now. Uh, please call back later. Get a cab as soon as you can. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Thanks. While the effect will persist away from his room once active, it will disappear when you put away your phone. At the start of the obvious big score heist, you can get into the front of Trevor's car. He will still take off, causing you to ragdoll, but not fall out of the vehicle. He will then take you on a merry little adventure, going to wherever he's meant to go in the mission, until unfortunately, the game fails you for abandoning the heist. For some unknown reason, Michael's top speed on a jet ski is 7 km per hour faster than either Trevor or Franklin. His acceleration seems to be faster as well. It actually seems as though Michael is faster in all water vehicles compared to Franklin and Trevor. Comparisons between the three in aircraft and land vehicles has not rendered any difference thus far. Due to Michael consistently living with other people, he has the most rare interactions with other characters that most people likely miss. <sighs> Some of these are often not seen because they can only appear during certain parts of the game. Jimbo. Actually, it's Jizzle. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Dad. You wouldn't want your film friends knowing you married a stripper. <laughs> are you kidding me? They're all married to strippers. Go play your psycho nerd game. Willing Weirdo. Cockpit, nympho. Loser, loser. You ah! have an echo in your vagina cave. JC. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Dad. The guy who pays the bills is here. Jimmy. Loser. You're really making my skin crawl. All good, Amanda? Yes. I'm married to a sociopath. You know, I don't tell you I love you enough, Pop. Never's plenty. What's wrong with you? Fuck off, sick old bastard. Ugh, oh, I hate you. You're getting real creepy in your old age. Go away, you pervert.
I love you, son. Whatever you say, Dad. Occasionally, their doors are locked and you can hear inside, but of course, with mods, you can see what they're actually doing. Uh, no, bro. I don't got time for a side piece right now. Or, like, centerpiece or whatever. I'm taking some time off, ladies. Big J's a hound dog, you hear? One bitch ain't enough. Unless you, like, know someone who'd go out for a drink with me. Uh, I do get kind of lonely sometimes. Boundaries! Hey, Trace. This interaction shows Tracy practicing her dance that she would later reveal on the famous Shame TV show. You got in me blow, Dad. My dealer is not answering. God fucking help me. She cannot be from my loins. I am. I wish all the boys were like you. You uh, make me want to puke. Really like, you're sick, you know that? What oh, yeah, that? let's do this thing. Parenting at its finest. I really love you, Dad. You're the best dad in the whole world. Ah, you make me so proud. I only had a glass of Pinot and a downer. I'm not sure what's wrong. Come here. What are you doing here? Everybody in this house hates you. Yeah, well, that makes us all even. Thank you. Nobody wants a fat daughter. Hey, am I going to have to get you some help? I had a really heavy lunch. Tracy, cut that out now. I ate something funny. It's nothing more than that. Go away. If I'm a film producer's wife, I gotta look the part. I guess you do. We have earned ourselves a drink. I am exhausted. Babies, the only thing that's worn out is my credit card. Are we gonna be okay, Amanda? I think we might just make it, Michael. Closet case! Couldn't get cast in a gangbang! Shit bag! Her Go masturbate! Dude. I would, but you're in all the nastiest porno! I love you, son. Whatever you say, Dad. What are you, a pervert? You're like a wannabe pedophile. Hey, son. Hey, Pop. Oh, that's good shit. <coughs> that was the whole fucking chamber, dog. <coughs> Don't you dare judge me, Dad. All right on, it's the big man. What's up, Papa? Oh, yeah, he's gone. And that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I wish you all the best.